Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, I gotta tell you, I got this pop-up today. I don't know where it came from. Actually, it came in after I installed Meta Cafe because uh, I was checking their site out to see what it's all about. And a few minutes later, I got this pop-up. Drivecleaner.com. This is my files, tracks of adult sites, so I don't go to adult sites. So I definitely know that's fake. Ask me would I like to install Drive Cleaner to check my computer for free. Recommended. Don't click on OK or Cancel. Click on the red X in the corner. So I clicked on the red X and it took me to a website anyway. Then it's got this pop-up in there saying it's found 624 sensitive files and pornographics. Erase them now. It never did a scan, so it couldn't have found any errors. See? 132 spyware, drive cleaner, abort connection. You know, I'm going to leave a link for this in my video description, and if you don't have Avast, I dare you to take this test and let me know the results. I'll show you how to get out of it right now, but uh, Avas caught this, and let's see if your antivirus does. So Avas tells me where the file's located, and that's probably the the file for the the mother virus. You open that Trojan horse, and it just re keeps recreating itself. Now delete. And if it doesn't go away we can manually go to that address and delete it in safe mode so let's copy that address it won't look exactly the same because it's been shortened for DOS but we know where that is start menu notepad notepad came up in the background right click paste now we hit delete on antivirus it says if necessary delete files at the next system start delete just minimize the notepad for now let's try and close the browser window Right click my computer, go to explore. Okay, get on click on your notepad folder that we minimized. We want to go to C, documents and settings, and then your username, local settings, temp. So we're going to go to C or local disk. Documents and settings, username, local settings, temp. You see, you've got Windows Explorer open. Go up to the top at Tools. Tools, select Folder Options, click on the View tab, and down near the lower section, click on Show Hidden Files and Folders. Click OK. To scroll down just a little bit. Take the check mark off hide protected operating system files. Because that's what NT Loader is, is an operating system file. So take the check mark off there, click yes on the notification box, hit apply, OK. Now NT Loader will show up for you. Now we have to find that file. So what I'm going to do is Right there, I'll left click on that, hold it down. 
and drag it down so it's below the other window and let it go. So when I click on the other window I can still see it. Well, let's go just below the browser. Okay, Avast deleted it. So it's real important that you don't install this software unless you want to get into your registry or pay somebody to come into your registry and delete all these settings because that's the only way to get rid of them. And hopefully you have Avast and Avast stopped it from coming in. That's why I like Avast because it actually stops the virus before it comes in instead of letting you know later that you have a virus. Good work, Avast. Talk to you all later.